Every year, five of Sacramento's top chefs are put in charge of the Tower Bridge Dinner. And this week, we're learning more about this year's chefs and their stories. KCRA 3's Jason Mark shows us how Pedro de Pina is making use of the region's freshest ingredients. I'm always like in the morning, getting up like, what am I going to do today? What specials am I going to run at the restaurant? Uh, what's in season? What's coming down the pipe? You know, reach out to my purveyors. For Pedro de Pina, checking in with his farmers doesn't take long. We say, hey, look, you know, I, I like this this uh, lettuce to be more a, a little more petite than it normally is. They're located right here in Northern California. The food coming straight from farm to fork. We have the best ingredients to play with. And if, you, if that doesn't inspire you to get you, you know, motivated to really kind of like put something solid on, 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 on the plate, then I don't know what else is going to. As Chef De Cuisine at 7th Street Standard, he knows just how big of a difference that local produce can make on a plate. We're in the Central Valley, and most of all the produce is grown in the Central Valley of California. And it's shipped out to all parts of the United States. And so our climate is really great for that. And so we have the abundance and the, the, um, the availability to, to, to work with ranchers and farmers uh, that come through our back door and sell us tomatoes. And we partner up with those, with, with some of the ranchers that raise hogs or, 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 or animals for us. Uh, so it's, it's very special. I mean, you can't get that if you're living in a part of the United States where it's you don't have that accessibility to all the, 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 the bread basket, I, like I would like to say, the bread basket of, of the United States. Depina says the family tree of Sacramento chefs is growing, thanks to strong instruction at its most popular restaurants. The roots still keep going. And a lot of my colleagues who worked underneath these uh, restaurateurs uh, are opening their own restaurants now. Now he's hoping more people open their eyes to all the capital city has to offer. We get a lot of that, like the surprise, the aha moment, like, wow, Sacramento's really doing it. Yeah, we are. People are sleeping on us. It's time for them to wake up. Jason Marks, KCRA 3 News. And we're highlighting this year's Tower Bridge Dinner Chefs All Week. We'll show you why they say they're so proud to be part of the Farm to Fork culture. You can also learn much more in our KCRA 3 special, Farm to Fork Growing a Movement. That is available by scanning the QR code on your screen right now. It's also on the very local streaming app.